Well, it's two days without a neck brace, but it's not working. I haven't really um, been able to totally go without it, so it's not working for me. Uh, I've only had a few hours without it, but the bottom of my neck feels like it's in spasm. And it makes my, the bottom of my teeth feel like they're in spasm, too. Um, pain's back up to a 7. So I'll probably have to put the neck brace back on. And, and we are at, at least sporadically. You know, you try to take it off so you can strengthen your neck a little bit. And it just doesn't work. You know, there's no strength there to be had. Uh, the pain level at a 7 is out of control. Um, it's, it's, it's the time when you start doubling up on things, taking an extra tranquilizer to kick it a little bit or knock yourself out. Um, 7 is when you, you're going to have to do something about it soon or you're going to be suffering immeasurably where you're not going to be able to do anything you want to do. I want to do a little bit of writing today and I want to read a little bit of my book today and I want to get beyond my bathroom today. So I guess I'm going to have to do it in a neck brace and in a wheelchair if I want to do any of these things out of bed. Uh, I have to review the pain control skill. I know that after five you're like not good. Uh, it's a little bit embarrassing to have to in, in, uh, change the and look at the pain control scales and say I'm a hospice nurse, but that's the way MS is. It takes your memory, it takes your ability to perform your job, it does a lot of things that are hateful. Um, it took away my perfection, but I, I still maintain my license because I still am a nurse. I've been a nurse for 30 years and 35, 37 actually and I don't intend to give that up. But I was a nurse that went from people's houses into my car and then to their houses to help them control their pain and control their symptoms while they were on um, hospice for a local hospice company. I love this job and I even became a certified registered hospice nurse, which I was very proud of. And I was really good at what I did as far as being able to control people's symptoms and I don't want to say comforting them, but helping them through the time that they went through when a loved one is dying. So I'll review my pain control stuff and see if I can get it to stick in my head at all and to try to talk about pain more on here and the different levels of pain. I used to know the World Health Organization pain control scale at the back of my hand, but I don't know it now. So I'll have to go look at it.